Hey, what's up, family? Hey, I want to do a video for you guys on something that I think would be important with you guys today. This one, I'm going to title it Coliseum slash Modern Day Sporting Distractions. Now, I want all you intelligent people to really pay attention. Just just, just stay with me because I know you probably like Coliseum. What they got? Subscribe. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to really touch on some stuff that it's amazing how people are always so distracted by silly things. But you got more important things going on in the world, but they worry about silly things. And that's why I said Coliseum slash modern day sporting distractions. Now, what I'm talking about that, we got so much stuff going on right now with Corona, people losing their jobs, laid off from their jobs, can't pay their rent. That's another one of my videos. It's titled, uh, go to my channel, type in COVID-19 retroactive rent. That's for, especially for a lot of you landlords out there. I give you a different perspective on how you should be handling this uh, with uh, your tenants. But anyway, back to what I'm saying is, you got people losing their jobs, laid off, coronavirus, people getting very sick, people dying, all kind of nonsense going on. You got 5G coming out, people so excited, ooh, 5G, and my phone gonna work faster. Yeah, but you ain't realizing all the radiation that's gonna come with that. Come on, so the reason I'm naming it Coliseum slash modern day sporting distractions is because we gotta go back and understand what I'm talking about. Now, what I want y'all to do, I want y'all, as I've said so many times in a lot of my videos, use the left side of your brain, which means more intellectual. Now, when you do that, that's how you'll be able to follow me with this. Now, I'm going to talk about the Coliseum, because this ain't nothing new, what the government is doing. They're doing the things to distract you for what's really going on all around you. So we're going to give you things to distract you. So that way, you're too foolish to pay attention to what you should be paying attention to. You get what I'm saying? Now, left side of your brain thinking, folks, more intellectual, all right? Let's go back to the Colosseum. When the Colosseum was built in Rome, way back in the days, by the ruler called, uh, it's hard, I always mess his name up, Vespasian. Forgive me, folks, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. He decided to build, he said, I got to build something to keep the masses preoccupied for what's really going on because if they're not preoccupied they will eventually rise up they will be rioting they'll be protesting but i gotta do something to keep them preoccupied mm, i'm gonna build a big coliseum we all know what the coliseum was remember all the gladiator fights and all that but when he built it unfortunately for him uh he he died before it finished but then his son titus finished it and he still carried on his father's legacy which was, we're going to have all these big fights in the Colosseum to keep the masses preoccupied and keep their brains dormant and sleep. You get what I'm saying? So what, what did we do? We had these gladiator fights. And everybody in the towns were just so riveted into the fights. Remember, y'all know I love the y'all word of the day. The word of the day is going to be riveted. Now, you look up the word riveted. All it simply means is to fasten or to tie something. But if you go down further, it also means a high attraction to keep someone's eye or attention highly engrossed into something. You know, I got your full attention here. And that's what the emperor was doing back then. He said, I'm going to have this big coliseum and have these gladiator fights because but at the meantime, all around them, the surrounding towns around them, they was pillaging, raping, destroying, murdering, and taxing people for everything. And eventually it came upon these same people who was always so riveted into worrying about the sporting events in the Coliseum. You're so worried about the sporting events. Ooh, the gladiator, what, what gladiator fight's gonna be this tonight? And then eventually, remember, he started having them fight lions, tigers, and bears and stuff like that. And people were so riveted into what's going on at the Coliseum that they was never paying attention to what's going on around them. Just like this foolish emperor, Caligula, real good book, like, the, like it's called, The Mad Emperor of Rome. This guy was a sick dude. And the stuff that he was doing at that Coliseum, he was... Raping his own sisters, murdering people, murdering his own soldiers and all that. Doing all kinds of stuff, but keeping people entertained with the nonsense. Meanwhile, he was just destroying the areas and the towns. People never knew it. Which brings me to a statement, like I said. Keep the attention riveted on the circus, figuratively speaking. And the people may not notice the discontent and corruption in their midst. Think about that. 
See, when you keep them so riveted on, ooh, let's put on NBA games, like a lot of these fools out here nowadays talking about, man, ain't no games on, ain't no NBA games on, man, it's boring. What you mean it's boring? What you should be doing is spending more time with your family and paying attention to what's really getting going on in the world and preparing yourself. You can't even go to the shopping stores without being on a long line outside. And you silly fools out there talking about an NBA game? Man, there's serious things going on. These are trying times, and you worry about NBA games. I think you said something earlier about that, too, about girls talking about their Lash, nails. Their, their hair. lashes, nails, and hair. See, you, you riveted about silly stuff. And you got more important things going on, and you so worried about I, I swear I can't stand when I hear a person talk about an NBA game. When, when you got jokes out here losing their jobs, losing their lives. And you're talking about an NBA game. Is you serious? I'll give you another thing, like I said, with the Coliseum. Like I said, bring them, bring them death and destruction. And the people will, love, will be thrilled and love you for it. See? And this is how modern day is. People love the, the destruction, fights, and all this nonsense. The NBA games and all this. You riveted about silly stuff, but we got real stuff going on in the world. You see what I'm saying? So... We got 5G. Look at the 5G. Everybody going to be like, oh, I want the 5G because my phone won't work faster. But you're not realizing what 5G also going to bring. Lots of radiation. For a lot of you young girls out there about to get pregnant, want to get pregnant, have a child, this going to affect you, affect your child. You know, you got trees and birds falling out, birds falling out of the sky because of this radiation. You got trees dying because of this radiation. All kind of nonsense. And then you got silly jokers out here still talking about an NBA game. Is you serious? This is silliness. You got to stay focused, people. You talk about practice. Yeah, it reminds me of Allen Iverson. You're right. You're like, you talking about practice? You talking we talking about practice. practice. We talking about practice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll come out and put a good game all the time. We talking about practice. See, <laughs> that was so we funny. about the NBA. Yeah, but just to understand, a lot of you cats, y'all need to stay focused. Stop being distracted by the government's deployment, strategic deploy deployment of their antics of what they're putting into play right around you just like with Cal this fool caligula uh, all the other emperors how they always distracted the people meanwhile they up to no good all along and you don't see it coming you get what i'm saying don't be so engulfed into something that you don't see what's going on it kind of remind me how like like with a little kid a little baby we all know what a little baby some of the most common words, the most common words a little baby, first words they learn is what? Mama, dada, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to give you another word that they learn real quick in a very negative way. Hot. You know why? Especially if a kid grew up in a, a ghetto area, poverty area such as I did, where we had to heat the house up with hot plate or the stove, unfortunately. Guess what the little kid do? He's so riveted when he see that hot flame. Even though mommy and daddy say, don't touch that. Boy, don't touch that. Don't touch that. What did the little kid do anyway? He's still so riveted by the flame. He like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then what he go do? He go touch the hot plate or the fire anyway. And he get burnt. <laughs> now he know. <laughs> he learned just like mama, dad, dad. Now he learned what hot is. Because now you go, ha, ha, hot. He go, ooh, hot. He know I, that little baby never touch it again. Because see, at the time, he was so riveted. But now when he got a taste of what pain felt like, he ain't touching no more. He ain't touching no more. And that's what a lot of y'all need to do out there too. You don't want Joe's come banging, knocking down your door, and you're not prepared because you're sitting on the couch talking about PlayStation, uh, uh, NBA Live or whatever, and the NBA games. But meanwhile, we got serious things going on. People losing their life, losing their jobs, losing their sanity. And you're talking about games. Man, y'all need to knock it off, man. All I'm saying is grow up, pay attention. Not gonna keep it too long, but on the end, in closing, what I would just say to you, jokers, first of all, subscribe, share, like, and comment, and I'll leave more positive videos as usual. But what I would say to you guys, do not ever in life be so riveted, meaning totally attracted and got your full attention on one thing that you're not paying attention to other things around you. You get oh what I'm saying? Oh my god, that was it, I'm sorry. Okay. What you just said, we were so riveted that I read this article. Well, remember that when Kobe died mm -hmm. in the newspaper, we were so stuck on Kobe that in the corner. So riveted were, on that. They were in the corner. It showed coronavirus. Corona. You see what I'm saying? People were so riveted on the Kobe Bryant, but they had been told y'all about this. Mm -hmm. But nobody was, ain't don't care like that. 
Bright light right in your face, but you study worry about Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> What you was going to say? Just say it, man. No, I'm saying, like, it's very important that if people, we would like to hear people's comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Because it is very important for us to hear everybody's Thank way you, of man. thinking. I like that. You said that last time. See, now what my wife is saying, please, leave a comment. Uh, anybody like out there, when you leave a comment, I'm not one of these celebrities who don't respond back. I respond back to any Your comments matter. Leave a comment. Your comments matter. Yeah. It's very important because we all need to share the way we think. Yeah. Maybe I, we can learn from you. Learn from each other. And you know, we you can learn from us. Ones on yeah. Ones, though. yeah. So leave a comment, share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate it. And like I said, I respond to everybody's comments. So you leave a comment, I'll hit you right back. And on that note, I'm going to let y'all go. Peace.